Hey there guys, it's Dremos Online here, and I've just got two really quick battles for you guys. i put it in the same video because they are quite quick. And um, it's just some videos showing off my rain team. Now, this isn't the best footage in the world. It's all I could get, really. Uh, m most people end up disconnecting, so it's really hard to get good footage for this team. So I lead with Politoed and Raichu. My opponent leads with Emolga and Hydreigon. I go for the fake out on Hydreigon because I'm predicting the electric type move, which I do predict from Emolga, which means my Raichu is going to absorb this and have her a special attack boosted by one stage. So I'm going to be able to safely set up a substitute. So with the sub in place, that Politoed is pretty much safe. Gonna switch out the Emolga and go into their Lucario. Uh, which is obviously going to be their Mega Lucario. I go for the Hidden Power Ice, and unfortunately, even with a plus one boost, it isn't going to be enough to finish off Hydreigon, who goes for the Dragon Rush, which is really surprising. So this is either a physical Hydreigon or an in-game team. I'm not quite sure. I want to say it's a physical Hydreigon, just because Hydreigon does have the capabilities of being physical. That made no sense, but you guys know what I mean. So I went for the Scald on the Emolga, but they did switch into Lucario, who's now going to be at under half health because of the Scald. Never a good thing for Lucario, who is already paper thin. I'm going to get up the Killing Blow with uh, another Hidden Power Ice on the Hydreigon. So that is one threat out of the way. Really didn't know what that thing was packing, and I really didn't want to be taken by surprise. Now he's going to go for the Aura Sphere onto my Raichu to finish her off, not onto the Politoed as I predicted because Politoed behind a sub is a big issue for this guy's team. So I'm going to get up the finishing scald and that is going to KO Lucario, so I'm already at a 3-2 lead. The last two Pokemon this person has obviously being the Emolga, and I haven't seen the fourth Pokemon yet. I bring in my Lucario and you guys are probably wondering why I have Lucario, I will explain in a moment. So then the last Pokemon ends up being a Greninja, I go for the Mega Evolution and I'm going to go for the Hypnosis on the Emolga and the, my, the, my opponent is going to forfeit, so while we wait for that to happen, I will explain why Lucario is in the team. Basically, I have no other Mega that can work on this rain team. I don't have a, Gar I don't have a Mega Gyarados, I don't have a Mega Blastoise, I need to breed one. Uh, so for the time being, I'm using Mega Lucario and that is mainly because one of Lucario's weaknesses is Fire, which is weakened in the rain. That is a very, um, I suppose, you know, for, for a rain team, you don't have to bring water types. You can bring grass types and steel types as well, because their main weakness of fire is uh, reduced in the rain. So, you know, if you ever wanted to make a rain team, bring some grass types. They will love the rain. So my next opponent is going to be Ellie, and I lead with Politoed and Pelipper. Now, who expects to see Pelipper working? Well, no one, I guess. Um, this Pelipper is a build I've been toying with. Um, hope you guys will enjoy it. I'll actually make a separate video for the build on this Pelipper. So I switch out my Politoed. Now I've got the rain in into my Raichu to take the obvious Thunder uh, Electro type move. The Klefki actually go goes for the um, Thunder Wave onto the Politoed, and the Dedene goes for the Thunderbolt onto the um, Pelipper, which means Raichu is going to absorb both of those hits because of a Lightning Rod. And now I'm. Um, now at plus two special attack, and if I could talk clearly, that would be amazing. So I go for the fake out onto the Krefki, just to kind of stop it for this turn, and I go for the school. I did set up a Tailwind the last turn, so Pelipper will now be faster than the Dene. I also get the burn on that Krefki. The Dene goes for another Thunderbolt, maybe not realizing that Lightning Rod absorbed their attack. Maybe they thought they misclicked, or maybe they expected Ryotri to switch out. I'm not entirely sure what they were expecting there. So um, obviously that is not going to work in their favour. Clefki is going to take some burn damage. My opponent is finally going to switch out the Dedene. Going to go into the Mawile. Now this confused me a little a little bit. This is an Intimidate Mawile, which means it should be a Mega. My opponent will not Mega Evolve this Mawile, so I'm not sure if there's another plan they had for it. So gonna go, the Clefki is going to go for the Swagger on my Raichu, which I was kind of fearing, but I had no way of stopping. Um, I am just going to try and go for the Thunder onto the Morwell, but unfortunately I'm going to hit myself in confusion. Look at the damage! Wow! Even after that Intimidate, the, the, uh, the Swagger is going to make me hit myself It's going to make, make me hit myself hard. If I could English, that would be amazing. So I go for the Stockpile on my Pelipper, uh, as the Clefki takes some burn damage, some Lefty's recovery, so that's just all the end turn stuff going on. Clefki is going to Swagger my Pelipper, which obviously was going to be, is expected. 
Um, so up goes my attack, and I am now a confused bird. I'm going to step out of my confusion straight away, however, on Raichu and go for the Thunder onto the Morwile. That is a plus three Thunder. That, that Morwile is not surviving. Down it goes. Not sure what the plan was for that Morwile, really. Um, was it switching fodder? I'm not sure. Um, it gets even more confusing when you see the next Pokemon. Anyway, Pelipper hits, hits itself in confusion and then heals it back with, through the Rain Dish ability, which is pretty cool to have in a Rain team. Clefki takes some burn damage, it is just the end of turn stuff going on now. Tailwind ends, doesn't really matter. The last Pokemon is Gardevoir, which ends up being my opponent's Mega. So I'm not even sure why they brought the Morwile. Was it a misclick? Do they accidentally bring Morwile? I really don't know. So they're going to Mega Evolve their Gardevoir. Uh, so I'm going to go for the Swagger on my Raichu to try and keep me confused. I mean, it's, it's a strategy, it works sometimes, but it is throwing your life to the cards. I am unfortunately for them going to break through Confusion and Thunder that Mega Gardevoir. Even with her in, in, improved bulk as a Mega, she goes right down to a Thunderbolt. Sorry, a Thunder. My god, if I could pay attention, that would be amazing. I'm going to hit myself with Confusion on Pelipper as well, and the rain is unfortunately going to stop here as well. So Thunder is no longer a viable move for me to be using. It's very risky. 70% uh, 70, 70 chance of it hitting, and I am still confused as well. So I really don't want to have to break through Confusion only to miss. So we're going to take some end of turn stuff there. My Pelipper holds the leftovers. Clefki gets some burn damage. Clefki's going to go for the light screen. That is what it should have done a long time ago, but it is way too late in the game for that. I'm going to get off a of Thunder. I took a chance, I took a risk, and it worked. The Dene, even with the resisted hit through the um, the light screen, the Dene is still not going to like that Thunder. Goes to the Grass Knot on Raichu, which doesn't do much damage, and this Skull is going to finish off that Clefki as I break through the Confusion. It's even a crit. Uh, that really didn't matter though, we saw what damage Pepper could do earlier. So Raichu also snaps out of her confusion and goes for the Hidden Power Ice, and that is going to be enough to finish off the Dene, despite the uh, the screams. So yeah, that's all I've really got for my rain teams, I'm afraid. Um, everyone just keeps disconnecting when they when I bring in the Raichu, and their Electro-type moves don't work on the Pelipper, they just disconnect, which is very annoying. If any of you guys, now I don't like begging, but if any of you guys have a Mega Gyarados or a Mega Blastoise you don't use, I've been completely, you know, EV, IV bred, nature bred, egg move bred, I would really appreciate it if you guys could uh, could let me use one for a couple battles, that would just be amazing. Uh, let me know in the description below if you guys are able to help me out with that, because I would like to not use Mega Lucario, because I do view Mega Lucario as a little bit cheap. Um, double battles, not as cheap, but it's like, you know, it, it's a rain team, why have I got Lucario in there? I've only got him in there because of the fire resistance in the rain, but there's other options that will be much better in the rain. Preferably Blastoise, because my god, Blastoise. That Squirtle was my starter, guys. Squirtle was my starter. So anyway, this video is getting a bit long now, so I will see you guys in the next video.